Have you ever wondered how software can work with my point of sale system, like an Aloha, Micros, PosiTouch, one of the top three, or Focus, Future, Digital Dining, Dinerware, and the list goes on? Well, I'm gonna tell you how software on the back end can get more power out of that POS. Hello, this is Dave Scott Peters with RestaurantExpert.com and I'm thrilled to tell you, we've recently started working on our POS integration. We've, the first one we rolled out was Aloha because it's one of the major brands out there. I'm not endorsing them, I'm not telling you they're bad or good, but they're one of the top brands that are out there. Well, when we integrated our software with Aloha, things changed because all of a sudden we could do things faster for our members. Number one, easy enough, get your daily sales. Now it was 15 minutes of work done, right? Your DSR put in there. Next, it was our in and out times. Well that, if you're a larger restaurant, could save you a half an hour to an hour a day to make sure our labor controls are accurate. But the big one, the really, really big one, is tying your menu mix, your product mix, to your recipe cost cards inside the software. That means with two clicks, three clicks, four at most, you can know your ideal food cost like that. What your kitchen food cost should be, food cost should be if you had no waste, no theft, no spoilage, perfect restaurant, which does not exist. But what it allows me to do is if I give my kitchen say a point and a half to two point variance, compare it to my ideal versus actual, I can see how far off I am and I can see if I have a problem. But better yet, because I've tied that information to my recipe cards, I can do a couple other things that are really powerful. I can menu engineer my menu. Literally take the menu, make changes, change prices, reduce costs, get rid of an item, change mix, and I can engineer my food costs down three to seven points the first time using science because I have this information. But one of the big ones is this. If you've got a problem with food costs and now you've tied your menu mix with your recipe costing cards, now the software like that can shine a spotlight on there's a problem. Because now I not only look at where I'm off in inventory, but I look at my ideal versus actual on the product level. Maybe I should have used 10 cases of french fries, but based on my inventories, beginning inventory plus purchases minus ending, put all this together, and I see how many french fries left the, the, the shelves, I used 15 and I should have used, if I followed my recipes, 10. Now, as a chef or kitchen manager owner, I can literally sign a, shine a spotlight on there and I know exactly what to fix. I can change my profitability like that. That's the power of integrating back office software with a POS system like Aloha and the list goes on. Now look, I will tell you one of the things that we've built is even if you don't have a POS system that we're directly integrated with, we've built it that if you can export a report from your POS system, we can import it and you can have the same damn information. It's just two extra steps, an export and then an import. Look, you wanna take control of your food cost, I highly recommend you start paying attention and using a software package like ours, Smart Systems Pro. If you want to learn about what our software package is like, and I'm going to tell you, it's not right for everybody, we just like to think it is, give us a call toll-free at 1-877-457-6278, dial extension 106, ask for Greg Sauerbach, our solutions coach. He'll take about 15 minutes, learn more about you, tell you what we do, see if there's a possible fit. If we're not right for you, we're done. If not, we'll set up a demo and we'll show you what we've got. Hey, do me a favor before you go, down below, Type in the comments, what kind of software solutions are you using? I'm okay if you use somebody else's. Any solution you use on a daily basis is priceless. But what are you getting? What kind of result, or results are you getting from using it? Also, before you go, make sure you like this video, help a guy out, or subscribe now. This way, you'll be notified every time a video pops up, either on a weekly basis or even one of the webinars I do. Two more seconds. Right here, I'm going to pop up two videos you just might like.